So what does it take to become a forensic examiner? Every posting for a forensics job at a large corporation, legal firm, or law enforcement agency has education, certification, and professional work experience requirements. Sure, but I'm talking about what kind of person do you need to be to really enjoy both the intellectual challenge and the mind-numbing drudgery that is often the work in a forensics lab. A former law enforcement forensics instructor of mine summed up the qualities he thought every forensic examiner needed, which included training in the use of forensics tools and procedures, experience in conducting forensic examinations, having ethical morals for unbiased analysis of evidence and truthful reporting, an inquisitive nature to discover information and for thinking outside the box, being methodical in examination and documentation procedures. If you like methodical detail, checking and rechecking your information, not necessarily believing your first conclusion, and being honest when you are working from assumptions rather than from facts, then you might make a fairly decent forensic examiner. Add to that the understanding of computer science, information security, and criminal behavior, and you just might be an outstanding digital forensic examiner. Who will hire you if you want to work as a digital forensics examiner? That's easy. Have a look at the postings on major job sites like Dice.com, Monster.com, and LinkedIn.com. Try sites like USAJobs.gov for federal government jobs, including the FBI. Also have a look at websites for your local cities, counties, and state law enforcement agencies for forensic examiner job postings too. On these job sites, search on the word forensic and see what postings pop up. You can add in the words digital or security or even cyber to narrow down the results to find what jobs appeal to you. Notice the education, certification, and experience requirements the job postings ask for. This will give you a very good idea of how to plan your own career in digital forensics.